Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be showing you how to store objects and arrays in local storage. The browser's local storage as well as the session storage only accepts values with the string data type. So what if you want to store object values or array values in this storage? How do you do it? I'm going to show you how in this video. To achieve this, you use the stringify method of the JSON constructor and the pass method of the JSON constructor. The stringify method converts an object to a JSON string or it could be an array, while the pass method converts a JSON string back to an object or to an array. Here is an example. So let's say I have this object variable and this has a name of Dillion, which is my name, and it has a YouTube of decode. I'm going to have stringified objects, which is going to be json.stringify objects. Then I would log the stringified object so you see what that looks like first. So when I run node test, you can see this is a stringified object. This is a string. And then you can see the name property and the YouTube property also having quotes. If I want to pass this string back to a JSON object, I'm going to use the pass method. So I'm going to say back to object, which is going to be json.pass stringified object. When I console log back to object and I come here and I run node test again, you can see that the second value here is an object. So by using these two methods stringify and pass, you can convert an object or an array to a string. You save that string to the storage and then when you retrieve that value from the storage, you can convert the string back to an array or an object. I'm going to show you an example here again. So I'm still going to have my object and I'm going to to have the stringified variable then i do one for an array this array is going to have dillion decode and some number values like one and two and then i'm going to have stringified array which is going to be json.stringify array now i have this object the stringified version of it here have this array the stringified version of it here i can now save it to storage so local storage or set item i'll give this a key of object and then i save stringified objects i do the same thing local storage or set item array and i pass the stringified array with the both of them saved to storage when i finally want to retrieve it from storage let's say i want to have object from storage equal to local storage dot get item objects and i do the same thing array from storage local storage dot get item array when i get both strings from storage like this then i can pass them with json i'll start from the object object passed which will be json dot pass object from storage and I have the same thing for array, array passed, and then I have array from storage. So you can see that from here we have the stringified version, which we save to the local storage because it only accepts strings. And then now after getting that item from the storage, we can pass it to get our original object and arrays. So if you are working on applications where you need to do this, then this is a good approach for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content.